What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I've been busy, busy, busy. I know it's been a minute since my last video, but still been watching, enjoying everybody's uh, Nationals videos and stuff. Pretty cool, but anyway, my desk's getting kind of cluttered here with my uh, pickup pile, so they're building up on me, so I need to go ahead and show you guys some cards. Start off with a little something for the Hall of Fame PC. Rod Woodson out of Classics. I got that in a uh, Cool Toads auction. Along with a few other cards, but uh, they were for other YouTubers, so we won't show those. And then I got this uh, from one of Snodzilla's auctions a little while back. Greasy Zonka, again, for the Hall of Fame PC. And then as an extra, he sent me this uh, a couple uh, Cubs out of Diamond Kings, a uh, Chris Bryant, and some Redbacks of Bryant and Rizzo, so very cool. Thanks for the extras, Pat. Awesome. And we'll get into some Kerry Wood, some Cubs. I think I'm really going to go after some Kerry Woods. This is a new breed refractor. Um, probably my second favorite Cubs player of all time behind Ryan Sandberg. Modern, modern players anyway. we get on to some upper deck stuff. You always hear people saying, bring back tops. I say, hash brown, bring back upper deck, baseball and football. I freaking miss them, man. You're going to see a lot of upper deck in these piles here. Right, and a few refractors. Here's another refractor. Carry wood, little rainbow shine. Focus. And out of uh, 2004... Timeless Treasures, Don Russ, just a cool looking base card for Kerry Wood. All right, and so let's get into, I'll show you some Notre Dame pickups next. Out of Upper Deck, you see there Yankee Stadium, and what this card is all about is the Gipper speech, which I am a Notre Dame fan, don't get me wrong, but I don't necessarily buy into all that Golden Dome rah-rah bullshit, you know, <laughs> but I still am a fan of their, of, you know, of the football program. Let's see. And then here, another one out of Classics, the Newt Rockney. It's just hard to pass these cards up when they're so dang cheap. And got a couple out of. There it is. That's my favorite one. I got three out of this set, but that's the Jerome Bettis. That's my favorite one because it's really the only action shot that I got. But I also picked up a couple other Notre Dame legends, Alan Page and Paul Horning. Cool looking set. I just seen uh, some of Victor doing some beer and baseball cards. He had some of those baseball in there. Good looking cards. And the last one I got here, a cut above. Once again, out of Upper Deck, Tim Brown. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You look at his numbers on the back, and I don't know really how they compare to today's, but I mean, he, it's not like he was, I mean, 12 touchdowns in four years, I don't, you know, it's not really, I don't know how that would look in today's game, but anyways, moving on, let's get on to some uh, Matt Forte, well, first I'll show you this Devin Hester refractor, like I said, I went a little crazy on the refractors, I may have started something here, I may go after all of these, but this, these are out of Bowman Chrome. I really like something about the blue and the bears. It just kicks and looks great. And then out of, uh, I believe, Triple Threads, yeah, just a, a Forte base. All right, moving on. I'll show you some. Let's see here. I picked up a, out of Topps Finest, Tommy Harris. I got a PC of him, one of my favorite defensive tackles. And... A PC, I'm really... Look at that base, again, out of Upper Deck. SP Threads, man. Just, they need to bring that stuff back. But anyway, before I get too sidetracked, yeah, I'm trying to work on the Briggs PC. Because there's just, there's not a lot of his stuff out there. That one's out of, what's that, Prime Signatures? Yeah. All right, moving along... Here, what do I want to show next? We'll go. These are just some random Bears cards that I picked up of, you know, f fan favorites I get, or players that I like when I was younger. Uh, Mark Carrier, pretty good DB there. 
Picked up a couple cards for the Donruss Classics. I got this Monday Night Heroes Forte out of 2009. That one's numbered as something. Let's see, 250. And then from 2016, uh, the last three years that they've done classics, you know, I've heard some people say they've kind of gotten better, but I personally feel like they've gotten worse. Of the three most recent sets that they put out, I think 2016 was the best. You know, I'm just, there's too many, I mean, the Hall of Fame hits and stuff are good this year, but there's just too much event worn. Just a cool card I ran across, so I picked it up because of Richard Dent and Julius Peppers. I don't give him enough love. He had a few good seasons there in Chicago. Eddie Goldman, rookie. I'm kind of going after some of his stuff because he's kind of starting to make his mark there. And was never really a fan of the 3-4 defense, but that's the nose tackle for it right there. He seems to know it and know it well. Another Bears uh, legend, Charles Tillman, Peanut Tillman. I don't have enough of him either. He don't get enough love. He gets love in Chicago, but really not to too many other places. And this out of 2010, Leaf Limited, just a Harlan Hill legend. All right, now, and we'll get into some 90s here. Got a uh, Refractor, Bobby Ingram, and just a regular out of finest, Bobby Ingram. Freshman. Walt Harris rookie out of SP. That was a kick ass set back in the day. A lot of good cards in that. Donnell Wolford, some more 90s love. At one time, there were some people that considered him right up there with Deion Sanders as, you know, the best cover corner in the league. He, uh, I don't, he, he was good. I don't want to ramble on here trying to get through this too, you know, pretty quick, not hold you guys too long. Finest Mark Carrier. All right, and I picked up some vintage. A couple 1967 Philadelphias. Dick Gordon. And a Ron Bull. And these cards look good. I mean, they look so good when I got them in. I got them in a lot off eBay. I thought they were fake. But after uh, holding them, you know, with I mean, they don't feel different. I compared them to my other vintage cards that I have. And, uh... They're just really good, in good shape. So, that was cool. Got got them all on a lot on eBay for like five or six bucks. Shit. A couple Philadelphias. And then, let's see. And then I hit the Erlacher up. Just some base cards that I like. Look good. Got this one because I like the action shot. Pretty cool card. All oh, these are pretty much early 2000s. Golden Moments, cool insert, and then here it is again, man. I'm telling you, bring this stuff back, guys. Just a cool base card. I believe it's just a base, but, man, good stuff. Another one, like I said, there's going to be a lot of upper deck in this stuff. Here we got a Contenders insert. That one's numbered to 250 or five, yeah, 500. And we got another, just another cool base. Upper deck, kicking ass. Oh, I so wish they'd bring back upper deck football and baseball. I probably said that like six times already, but anyway. Uh, this is out of mass, upper deck masterpieces, the black frame. Sometimes I, I dig these uh, canvas cards with the cool borders and, you know. But I get sick of them pretty quick because I've actually tried to put a few sets of them together or team sets for the Bears, but I just never get that far. I always end up moving on to something else. Another cool SP Threads. And Kings of the NFL. This is out of Crown Royal. Just a cool insert. And this last one is out of Inception. I like it when they have the... Uh, Pictures of them when they have the throwback unis on. And that's about it. A couple more cards. Uh, these last two, when I did the uh, response video for Dustin B, it pulled out some stuff and it did what I wanted it to do. It made me go after a few things. I pulled out that uh, my 2014 museum collection. So I went ahead and picked up the Bayscale Sayers. And the last card I got 
is this Matt Forte auto patch whatever I believe it says uh, event worn but still just for the autograph alone get it out of there so you can get a good look at it look at that butte yeah very nice numbered out of 50 got the orange and white on the bottom and the blue on the top so sweet all right guys that's all i got for now like i said i got a couple grandkids coming up this afternoon i thought i was done with for the summer but not quite yet but uh hope everybody's doing good and uh i'll catch you next time take it easy